Well, you got a gavel, spare footage. Running the camera. Running the camera. Yeah. The camera and cool. and <laughs> he's in Las Vegas. We're country music. This makes me think of people back in the woods about. <laughs> <laughs> you get this over here. Why don't you get yeah. your feet on that video? Yeah. 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 So, you know, go ahead and take the damn thing you want. Yeah, right. It makes me think of swamp people. All <laughs> these interviews, all the country singers have been coming through, and they've been singing this guy right here. Yeah. That's just a. Yeah. We're representing country music from the uh, back. That's what I hope you represent. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to walk around bare feet in Pittsburgh this time of year. I'm taking full advantage. Well, I'd love to. They make some good white whiskey up in them mountains. Yep. Uh, we we came down in Tennessee and Alabama. We got to North Carolina. We got to, you know, patent on white whiskey. Pennsylvania. I haven't had any of that. I've never had any Pennsylvania white whiskey. Uh, well, you you had it? I can know where you can get it, yeah. <laughs> I know a guy. I see. I just happen to have a few guys. Uh, I know a guy. I know where to get it. We are going to go live in Pittsburgh. Are you ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Froggy, real country variety. It's a danger show. We are live in Las Vegas, Nevada for the ACM Weekend Academy of Country Music Awards. And this is a real pleasure. You don't get a chance too often. We're actually video this for froggyland.com on Froggy TV as well. Right now. Uh, we've got Alabama here in the Froggy Suite. Randy Owen and Teddy Gentry, what a pleasure to have you here. It's great to be here. And uh, y'all talk to Teddy some because the last interview, I felt like I did every, all the talking. Well, don't you worry. We're not leaving Teddy out right here. As a matter of fact, Teddy, do you think when he walked in, when Randy walked in, he said the flight attendant on the Southwest flight was hitting on him? Do you believe that to be true? He, he knows it's true. I'd say it's true. In fact, you know, last night I had a good looking guy at a truck stop and hug me. He said she gave him a note and everything on the way out. He didn't give me anything. I left her. <laughs> That's funny. That's good stuff. Well, so your trip to Vegas was good even before you got here, basically. You know, I really, what I really, to be serious, and I'm not going to be serious very much, but I'm just happy to be alive. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, but coming across, we had a beautiful flight. Like I said, the Grand Canyon, like, uh, I'd never seen it before. Mm -hmm. It was uh, just totally clear. And I can't tell you how many times I've flown across this great country and never got to see that kind of a view of the Grand Canyon. And then, of course, that flight was just spotless. We just... You know, landed so easily, and then we're here and we're having fun. I, you know, and I can't believe that that uh, Alabama's so blessed to be talking to people in the great city of Pittsburgh, and uh, and uh, you know, like we are today. And uh, it's just a uh, life is good. It's uh, you know, I treasure every moment that we have to uh, to visit with our fans and let them know that we're doing good and that you know, life's good. Well, you know, uh, you do have a lot of fans in southwestern PA. A froggy can be heard in southwestern PA in Pittsburgh, but also in eastern Ohio and West Virginia. And I, was, I remember your last show, the Farewell Tour, which what was it, about eight years ago? Don't forget, was don't, it a, don't forget West Virginia. West Virginia. We yeah. can never forget West Virginia. The yeah. folks in Weird and Wheeling, they love you. But uh, tell you what, there was a lot of them there at the pavilion when you guys did your Farewell right. Tour. But you've also, you know, been back to, you, Randy, you did a show with uh, Pepsi Roadhouse, but let's talk about... Is that the one at the, the Hard Rock? Uh, no, there we have a Pepsi Roadhouse that's in Burgestown, a small and you played there yeah, with Yeah, I, I forgot about that, and then, but then we did the Hard Rock. You've been in town that a bunch. That was the wildest, yeah, I'm not coming back no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we got Alabama here, Randy Owen and Teddy Gentry, and you guys, how surprising was that when I played the new Brad Paisley song a couple weeks ago? Old Alabama, and then Alabama joins in. How did Brad rope you into that? Uh, you'll have to ask him. I'm not sure how we wound up. <laughs> so you didn't actually sing, he just used your record. You yeah, I think, I think they just got some guys that sounded like it. <laughs> so, no, no it, was, it was great. Brad uh, asked us if he'd come in and sing on it, and we said, sure. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a song to kind of tribute to the guys in the band, so we were honored to be here to support Brad on it. Are you guys going to sing it on the ACMs with them Sunday night? That's what we came out here for, unless they run us off the street. <laughs> that's cool. And it really is nice to see Brad Paisley, because we love him. He's from Wheeling, West Virginia. And uh, that's such a nice tribute to I mean, you guys are legends in country music. You know, artists of the decade in the 80s, Hall of Famers. And for him to come out and show respect to you guys and put you out there, because you still have a lot of fans. Forget about it. Legends. People love you right now, still. Well, I, you know, visiting with him, I, when I first went over after visiting with the songwriting, buddy of mine that, that he was telling me about this and he and I were writing together and, 
he kind of let me that Brad, you know, Brad's a very conscientious person, cares about people and everything. And, and yet, I, I want to throw this, he's a great supporter of St. Jude as, as well. And that's a, a special place in my heart for anyone that does that. But uh, anyway, when I pulled up to the studio there with my old guitar to play on the track, um, I saw this car, a real pretty sports car outside, and had a St. Jude tag on it. So when I went inside, I said, which one of you guys' car is that out there? And uh, they said, what, what, which car are you in? I said, the one's got the St. Jude tag. And Brad said, that's mine. Really touched my heart. And, uh, and then, uh, you know, when I did my part with the guitar and everything, then he called his wife and brought his two pretty little boys up there. Took a picture with them and uh, his wife. It was really a special moment for me. I'd never been treated that warmly. And I think in a very sincere way in my life by another artist. Well, I can tell you for all your fans listening right now that when you guys take the stage Sunday night, it will be a special moment. You'll hear a lot of applause, that's for sure. Well, we're, we're excited to be here. And uh, well, I know that, uh, you know, uh, it's great to be part of this great industry that we have. And uh, we, uh, we've enjoyed a lot of great moments with the Academy of Country Music and, and our hearts always go out to the, the Bill Boys of the world, the Dick Clarks, the Gene Wees, the people that we work with so closely over the years and uh, uh, two of them are no longer with us and we almost lost Dick, you know. And, uh, but uh, the group Alabama was so, so close and always will be close to Dick Clark because he meant so much to country music on the West Coast. I can't even describe to people what Dick Clark meant to country music, unless you were from our shoes, you know, what he, he came to and filmed the June Jam there in Fort Payne, did two shows on, a, on the Pyramid, and then showed up there, he and his wife did, and, and, and filmed the June Jam, and uh, that was something, of course, that was shown on network TV, and so he's just a cool guy. We've had a lot of great moments with Dick Clark, and Gene Lee, and Bill <coughs> There you go. We're sitting here talking to Randy Owen and Ted Gentry. They're going to be with Alabama back on stage uh, with Brad Paisley Sunday night. Thank you guys for being here. We're going to play Old Alabama on Froggy and crank it. Just to let you know, Alabama records will always be played on Froggy. Crank, crank it up. Thank crank you. it up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys. Enjoy Vegas. Thank you. Thank you. Hang on to your wallet, Ted. You guys. <laughs>